Hi friends, how are you? Svenja here. I hope you had a lovely Thanksgiving weekend for those of you who are in Canada. Welcome back to another video. I'm really excited for today's video because it was a request that I got from Instagram and I love getting requests from you, so keep them coming, please. So today's video was a request to show how, how I edited this particular photo. And for it, you need three things. One, bokeh overlay. I'm gonna show you exactly where to get it. I'm also going to leave a link in the description box below so you can get it very easily. And secondly, I used two of my very own sun flare overlays. Grab your coffee enjoy while you're being entertained in my video and let's get started oh hot hot it's too hot Now in order to achieve this look, we need to find an overlay. And I used a very particular overlay for this particular image and I'm gonna show you where I got it. I got it from a website called unsplash.com and I just typed in, okay. And then I scrolled and they have wonderful bouquets, but this is the image that I used for it. It is a photo by Nicolas Grass. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't butcher your name. In any case, thank you for this wonderful image. I love it and I've used it in many, many images. Oh, and I wonder if he is a Nightwish fan. I see Endless Forms Most Beautiful here. I wonder if he's a Nightwish fan now. In case you don't know me, I really enjoy listening to Nightwish when I edit because I love their music. Anyway, thank you Nicholas Grass for this wonderful image and uh, we'll head over to Photoshop now. So the first thing we have to do to our image is make a layer mask of Vienna because we're going to apply some sun flares and a bouquet overlay and she still needs to be preserved. So one of the best things to do is click in the background layer and you might have to unlock it and then you go under properties and if you don't see it you scroll down you click remove background now this is not a um, foolproof method as you can see right here it took off her shoe so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click command j to duplicate the layer i'm going to click delete to delete that layer mask and now i see everything again then i'll click in that uh, layer mask that was created from removing the background uh, under properties and I'm going to click my backslash key on the keyboard. This turns everything red. And the great thing about that is I can see where I still need to mask some stuff off. So I need to have a white brush and I'm going to need a 100% opacity and I want it somewhat hard. So I'm going to just click right about here and making it a bit bigger by pressing the right bracket key. I'm going to trace back at her foot right here in order to get that back. Now, you will always have to keep working on that mask. Just clicking the remove background by itself will not provide a great mask. So I recommend that you click in your layer mask, press command to get the marching ants, then go in your background layer without any masks on and click in the quick selection tool to bring up this menu right here, select and mask. And you wanna be in that one. Now, everything that is not selected is grayed out and you want to grab that feathery tool right here and just start I'm gonna zoom in command plus to trace around um, the hair and the entire body part and I'm gonna speed this up because we will be here for forever <laughs> if you want to watch me perfect my mask I do recommend that you spend the time to do that you can listen to some great music while you do it to make the task more enjoyable and make sure you don't forget little nooks and crannies either. And if this doesn't work, then make sure to use the brush tool. So we're going to click OK now to get a new layer mask. And you can click any of these adjustment layers. I happen to always click into the levels. I have it. That is my mask. This is not perfect and I already did the work. So I'm just going to use this one right here. If you need to work on some more, use the brush here and uh, you can always click the backslash key to see where you still need to work on. But do spend the time to perfect the mask. I'm gonna delete this one right here and I'm also going to delete that one right here because I already have my mask here and I have Vienna already saved out just to save us some time on this tutorial. Now what I wanna do is add a sun flare. 
I'm going to use the ones that I created. Feel free to use whichever you have on hand. One has rays, the other is more like a gradient. I'm just gonna click check mark and check mark to get both of them in here. I'm gonna highlight both of them. I'm gonna press Command T and then I'm gonna click Shift and Option. Shift in order to keep my ratio option so that it grows. Oops, don't wanna do that. So Shift, Option, Option so it grows from the middle. I'm gonna make it nice and big and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna drag it a little bit over to the left of her I want the Sun I want it to basically run towards the Sun now I'm gonna set the blend mode to screen and now I can see exactly where I am and I'm just gonna maybe lift it up a little bit more like so right here is good all right now it's time to mask out the Sun flare and you can just click the check mark. I clicked somewhere else. <laughs> that sets them basically in place. Vienna is pretty good. I don't need to do much on her anymore, thanks to my good layer mask. But I do wanna work a bit more on the sun flares. So I'm gonna make a layer mask on each of them. Just click into that little layer mask spot right here and it will add one to whichever layer you're on. The sun one is one that is very even. It gives a nice glow right so I'm gonna turn it off again and Sun 2 is the one that has a nice Sun flare so I think I want to have the Sun rays over here but it would not be right here so I am going to take my brush command no just B for the brush and now I want to make sure it's a soft brush I don't want any hardness so 0% hardness here at 100% opacity and I'm gonna make it nice and big and I'm just gonna paint right so all right, I like that right here. Now for the other sun flare, I don't wanna have that much light everywhere. So I'm gonna make the um, opacity 50%. I just press five on my keyboard and I'm just, oops, I'm on the wrong layer. I need to be on this one here. And I'm just gonna paint this away a bit. And uh, don't want anything right here either on either of them actually. So right here, going back to Sun 1 and now I'm going to make sure I press the left bracket key to make my brush smaller. I'm gonna press two on my keyboard to reduce the opacity to 20% and I'm gonna make my brush even smaller, left bracket key. I'm gonna paint over right here because there shouldn't be any sun on that side of the branch and right here, I don't want much sun either. So I'm just going to paint that off, keep the trees as they are, and at 100% opacity, I'm going to make the brush bigger again. I'm going to make sure that there is no sun right here because this is in the shade, so there wouldn't be any sun flare right here. Here we have some again, and that's cool. Just not down here or right here because I do want to keep the depth. All right. So the suns have been masked. And I'm gonna click in the top one by holding the shift key and pressing command G and just label this sun flare. Now the next thing we need is the bokeh overlay that we just downloaded. And it is right here in my downloads folder. I'm just gonna click and drag it in here. Now it is in the wrong angle. So I'm gonna press my shift key and wait until I can grab a corner like so and I'll rotate it. And shift helps me to get a clean 90 degree angle. I let go, I'm gonna press shift option because I wanna make it as big as my image is. So I'm gonna drag it out and a slight bit over. I'm gonna click the check mark and I'm also going to set the blend mode to screen for this one. I use my drag tool and drag this overlay down. I wanna have these little amber-like glowy things at the bottom. I'm gonna add a layer mask and I see a really harsh line right here, which I don't want. So I'm gonna use the gradient tool. My foreground color is black and I have it at the first option. I'm gonna just at 100% opacity and I'm just going to drag this down here and then a little bit, a couple times to get rid of that harsh line. And just to check, I'm gonna click my option key and click in my layer mask and um, it looks pretty gradual. 
I will want some of these bouquet things at the top as well. So I'm gonna click Command J and I'm gonna disable my layer mask and I'm gonna click in my layer, pressing Command T and I'm just gonna grab it at the corner again and drag it around. I haven't uh, pressed the Shift key yet, but I'll do it in a sec because I wanna get that clean um, angle again and I'm gonna grab it and drag it up to my desired spot. I think I'll just want the big bubbles right here. So I'm gonna drag it up quite a bit. I'm gonna click my check mark. And now we have the bouquet overlay twice, right here and right here, and we don't want that. So I'm gonna let go of my um, layer mask and I'm in gonna invert it, Command I. And that didn't help me, you know why? Because I didn't disable my layer mask. Sorry, because I had it, um, linked. So I'm going to click link by a copy. This is the very uh, start of it. And now I'm going to unlink my layer mask and then I'm going to um, disable it. I'm going to click command T, switch it around, press my shift key to get that clean 90% again. And then I'm going to drag it up to my desired spot, making sure that everything is covered. Like right here, I'm going to click my check mark because this is where I want the overlay. Now I'm gonna click Shift to release my layer mask and now I'm gonna click in my layer mask and press Command I to invert it. Now this uh, pattern here ensures that we have a single layer of overlays. Even though we have two um, layers of overlay, the mask blocks out any overlap. So I'm gonna group them now together. I pressed my shift key and clicked in the other layer, command G, and I'm gonna label this bouquet. Now we have the fun task of masking out the trees. So what we could do is just grab this one here, for example, just to save ourselves some time and drag it up by pressing the, sh the uh, option key. And now we have that here, which is nice, but we want some of that nice glowy stuff at the bottom. So I'm gonna press my brush, B for brush. I'm gonna make sure I'm in my um, mask layer. And I want to have the brush white because I want to reveal stuff. So I'm gonna just click on, this is at 100%, <laughs> maybe wanna have 50. And I'm gonna bring this back here and some right here too. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller to have that glow here. Now this doesn't look too convincing right here, so we have to play around a little bit. I'm gonna click my X on the keyboard to switch my brush back to black. And I'm gonna click two on the keyboard because I want 20% opacity. Now this means it hides, as in it takes away from the bubbles and I want a little less right here. Just a little less. And what I'll also do is reduce my sun flares because I want to see more of the overlays. So they're at about 84 right now. And I think what I'll do is I'll actually not reduce it like here, but I'm going to go in the individual layers. I'm going to reduce this one here back to maybe 75. It's fine. And this one here, maybe 70. That's good. All right. And I can also do the same on my overlay layer, reduce it a little bit. Oh, I don't like that. I want to have the full effect of it here. So I'm just going to start playing around with my brush, making stuff darker. Like, I, oops, don't want to have a guide. Just going to go back here. I'm going to keep brushing with a black brush over here and here. And here in the foreground, there really wouldn't be any of these lovely bouquet effects. I'm gonna switch my brush and I'm gonna bring them out right here because they're gonna flood this area here. Full effect of the bubbles. However, I don't really like them too much on Yuna's shoes. So I'm gonna press in here and I'm gonna make the brush black and I'm gonna take some off of her shoe so that it doesn't look like she is uh, <laughs> ghost running or like losing her limb. I'm also gonna take some off of her leg right here because she's running into the big ones so they can't really be on her right now. 
and I like this right now. Now I'm gonna check, I'm gonna go up top and click this layer here, this is the black and white layer, and I'm gonna zoom out, Command Zero, and what stands out to me right now is her shoe is really dark. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna add a layer mask and I'm gonna have it to be just Vienna. So I'm gonna grab my mask, press Option, and drag it down, clicking OK. So this layer only affects Vienna. So I'm gonna click in my, map, in my uh, actual layer and I'm just gonna go right here in this dark triangle at the bottom and drag it in a little bit. This lifts my darks but why does it not lift her other shoe? Maybe I have to just drag this up top. That did the trick. <laughs> that did the trick. So I dragged that layer up top and I'm gonna label this Lift Darks V. And the nice thing is I can reduce the opacity if that is too um, intense. I'm also going to bring um, some pop back so I'm gonna add some more black here and a little bit more white to make her pop a little bit more so before was like this after is like this she is not that dark here anymore and I'm happy with that I'm gonna take off the black and white layer but what I see when I look at her now is that the rest of the image is really really warm but she herself is um, still a little cool tone so right here I'm gonna um, add another layer, a color balance layer, and I'm gonna I click on her right here. So I'm gonna press my option key and hover right here. This brings me the clip option. You can also click right here and it's gonna clip. Now I'm gonna label this CV for color balance. M for midtones because I'm gonna do the midtones on this layer. I'm just gonna add a little bit more red, maybe like five and then more yellow like maybe 10 yes minus 10 minus is the yellow side plus would be the blue side and we're gonna toggle it off and on it looks already a lot better and warmer we're gonna add another layer i'm just gonna click here because this automatically makes the layer that i'm gonna click a clipping layer see nice check here and I'm gonna label this CBH for highlights now I have to make sure that I'm actually my highlights right here and I'm gonna do the exact same thing add a little bit of red that's too much maybe like four is fine four or five and then a lot yellow like so and I'm quite happy with this I'm gonna add a level layer at the top and I'm gonna make the darks darker just by clicking in here and I might actually also grab my midtones here and drag them right because this darkens the image too. And then I'm going to click Command I to invert this and I'm just going to paint that on at the top. So I'm going to have my brush nice and big, 20% opacity, X to make it white. And I'm going to paint on my layer mask almost as if I'm adding a big um, vignette. And I'm gonna wait for it to catch up here. There. I'm gonna click X because I don't really want it here or on her. And I'm just gonna make the sun flare a bit more gradual. So I'm gonna take my brush, make it nice and big. X for making it, uh, for bringing out the sun flare. I'm just gonna click right here a couple times. And. Um, gonna do the same on the bokeh overlay just to bring a, a more gradual glow right here and there we go this is it my friends this is the before and this is our after now you know how to apply sun flare overlays and bokeh overlays and i hope you learned something today and if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel hit that bell ring the bell whatever it is that you're supposed to do in order to get notified so that you know when my future videos are coming out um i think that's it i hope you have a lovely week until i see you again in the next video peace out we're gonna edit it from top to bottom from top to bottom from start to beginning from end <laughs> 
Oh dear, we're gonna we're gonna edit this photo from beginning to end. So that's a wrap. <laughs>